looks like someone dared to enter my cavern. If you are a foolish enough human who's in search of the dragon's treasure, you should quickly get back to where you're from if you don't want to burn. No answer, huh? Well, it looks like I will need to come see you. Now, let's see the appearance of the foolish little human who dared to enter my You're... You're just a kid. Are you okay? Why are you in ropes? <laughs> There's blood. I... Can you hear me? Quick, I... I need to get you some help. Come here. You're finally awake, little one. How do you feel? Does it hurt anywhere? Shh, shh, shh. Hey, hey. Calm down, calm down. You're safe. Don't worry. Nobody is going to hurt you here. I promise. There's just you and me. I found you at the entrance of my cavern. You were so wounded that I had to bring you to my home, and I took care of you. You've been sleeping in my bed for an hour. <laughs> I'm sorry it's so big. Well, of course I let you sleep in my bed. You need rest. No, no, hey. Do not try and get out of the bed. Like I said, you need rest. Look at you. You don't even have the strength to move the blanket. You don't want my bed to get dirty. What are you saying? I don't care about that. You... You need to rest. Stop with those silly words. Okay? Good. Now... Let me just put my hand on your forehead. Why? T to check if you have a fever. You were shaking so much when I found you. It, it seems you don't have a fever, which is good. But it does look like you're hungry. No need to apologize. I knew you would be hungry when you woke up, so... I already prepared a little something to eat. It's on the table. No, no. You still don't have the strength to move, so let me just wrap you up in this blanket, and now I can carry you while keeping you snugly. No, you're not heavy. You're as light as a feather for me. <laughs> I might not look like it, but I'm really strong. And hop. I'm laying you sit on my lap. I made you a pottage. I hope you like it. Hmm? Of course, I, I made it just for you. You need to eat a lot to get better. Now, please, let me feed you. Shh. You're too tired to do it by yourself, so be good and just let me take care of you. Okay? Thank you. It's a little hot. Let me just blow a little. Here's the first spoonful. Say, ah. Uh, good. So you like it? Aw. You like it that much? That makes me so happy. Here comes another spoon. Ah. Uh, good. I 
couldn't help but notice that you seem to be a little malnourished and you have some scars if if it isn't too hard for you to talk about you could tell me about what happened to you and how you ended up at the entrance of my cavern it's such a poor state it's okay if you don't want to talk about it you live in the town near my cavern you don't have a family I, I'm sorry little one but someone must have taken care of you right no the people of the village called you a cursed child because you bring misfortune to everyone and they say that's why your mother abandoned you. You've been... You've been beaten multiple times and the villagers or the orphanage or anyone they didn't accept you so you were... You, you sleep outside. I... One day, the mayor of the town announced that the number of monsters had increased and it would become more dangerous for the people of the town. So in order to protect the village, he said the town needed to ask for the protection of the dragon. He has read the, in legends that a dragon would protect the town in exchange for a sacrifice. What the fuck? He said that the cursed child should be sacrificed for the safety of everyone and everybody. And they all agreed. He... They tied you up and they dragged you from the town to the cavern. You have a hard time remembering after that. You only remember the pain of being dragged on the ground and the taste of blood in your mouth. I... I... <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. I was making a scary face just now. Don't worry, it's not because of you. Oh, yeah, it seems I've broke my spoon. Silly me. Don't worry. It's easy to fix. Just need to use some magic and... It's fixed. <laughs> What's with the face? First time seeing magic? I can show you a lot of things. How do I know magic? Well, it's true that I haven't shown you this. Okay, little one, I will show you something, but can you promise me you'll try not to be scared? Okay, then let me show you. It's, um, the real me. Well, not really, unless I want to destroy the house. <laughs> yes, you're not hallucinating. That's right. I'm the dragon those frankly shitty people tried to sacrifice you to. But don't worry, little one. I don't hurt people, and I promise that I will never hurt you. You're not scared? Really? That makes me happy. You're not scared because you feel that I'm a kind person. <sighs> Thank you. So, what's gonna happen to you now? Don't you really have anyone that will take care of you away from this town? You don't. Tell me, little one. Would you like to live with me? I, I could adopt you. 
we could live together and I could I could take care of you make sure you have food every day give you an education even teach you some magic if you want and most importantly I could give you love so would you want that dad You called me dad. <laughs> I love you, my child. I, I promise I will give you all the love I have and protect you from any harm. <sighs> Sorry, got a little emotional and <laughs> it's okay. Baby, I... I want you to know you're not a cursed child whatsoever. Those people from your town, whatever they told you, it's bullshit. You are a wanted child, and I promise to show you that every day, that you are a miracle, not a curse. Of course, baby, you can have a hug. You can have as many hugs as you want. I love you, little one. Dad will always love you. Do you think you have the strength to walk? Okay. Let me put you on the ground. We're going outside. I want to show you where you're going to live. So, how is it? Didn't expect it to look like this, huh? Right. With this forest, this lake, and the sun, it looks like we're outside, but we're just further in the cavern. To be precise, we're in the mountain connected to the cavern. I made a giant hole with my magic to let the sun in. <laughs> it's mostly because of the fairies that are here. Look, you can see one now. <laughs> Stella. Yes, please tell a group of fairies to go to the town near the cavern. I locate the mayor of the city. Ask them to put a magic target on him so I can easily find him. I will visit him tonight while the little one is sleeping. I will make sure that man suffers. Anyone who dares hurt my child will suffer. This child called me dad. I will protect them by doing whatever I have to to make sure they're safe. Just look after them while I'm gone for the night, okay? Okay. Hey, sweetie. Oh, you want me to play a game with you? Of course. Be ready. Also, one more thing, my child. I love you.